Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Civil rights groups say the state of Florida is violating the U.S. Constitution by barring voting rights restoration to those who can't afford to pay fines, fees, and restitution from felony convictions. The groups want a judge to temporarily block the law. The Supreme Court has said over and over again that that's fundamental. You can't make it dependent on whether or not you're rich or poor. Patchwork record keeping can make it incredibly difficult for many felons to determine what they owe in the first place. One paper says one thing. Another one says another thing. Plaintiff pastor Clifford Tyson needed help from attorneys to find he owes at least $50,000 from his past convictions. The system that's in place is entirely broken. The state argues amendment for itself mandated the payment requirements and says it's working to make it easier to determine eligibility. The judge gave little indication on how or when he might rule, but he closed with a quote from President Ronald Reagan. Freedom is never more than one generation from extinction. The words struck a chord with Pastor Tyson, who registered to vote before the law was passed, but would lose the right if the law stands. Because when I got released from prison, that was only the beginning. But it was like that statement took more shackles off of me. And so that was very, very personal. One hint the judge did drop he said if either side believes they're completely right in this case, they're fooling themselves. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.